Okay, in this example, we're going to take several concepts that we've learned and um, construct a frequency distribution table. So before we can make our table, we're going to apply the 2K rule because we have a range of numbers here. Um, so we have to figure out how many classes we're going to have and our class width. So first we're going to do the 2K rule. It says we're looking at the number of t-shirts sold over the last 20 weeks. So 20 is going to be our sample size. So remember the 2K rule says 2 to the K power must be greater than or equal to N. So K is the number of classes that we're going to have. So that's what we're trying to find. And we need it to be greater than or equal to N. Well, in our sample, we have 20 weeks of data here. Our, our sample size of 20. So 2 to the 4th power would be 16, which is not going to be big enough. So let's go up one. 2 to the 5th power would be 32. And 32 is greater than or equal to 20. Um, if we would have used the 4, 2 to the 4th would be 16. And 16 is not um, greater than or equal to 20. It would be less than 20. So that's why we're going to have 5. Um, okay, going, getting back to our problem. So now we know that we're going to have 5 classes. Now, after you've, you determine your number of classes, you have to determine the class width. And the way that you determine the class width is you take your maximum value minus your minimum divided by k. And we just determined that k is 5. So your class width is going to be um, your, luckily these are in order, so it's easy to calculate. Your maximum value is 19, your minimum value is 1, and divide that by 5 and you would get 18 divided by 5 which is 3 point um 3.6 i believe but remember uh to keep this simple we're going to round up no matter what so if it was 3.1 let's just make that four now this does not follow your normal rounding rules but this is only when we're trying to find um, the class width. So now we know that our, we're going to have five classes. We're going to start our first class at one, right? Because that's our smallest. And then we need our width to be uh, four. So we've already included one number and we want to have four numbers. So we need to add three more numbers to that. So if we added three more numbers to that, that would get us at four. If you're not quite sure, list those numbers out and make sure that it is four numbers. So your first class is going to be one, numbers one through four. And the reason we're using uh, one through four and not one, to less than five because this is discrete you can count t-shirts you're going to either have one t-shirt or two t-shirts you're not going to have 1.5 t-shirts so we're going to use what we call discrete um, so the next class would start at five and then it would go up to eight very once again just make sure and then 9 to 12, and then 10, sorry, <laughs> and then 13 to 16. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4 classes. Remember, we've got to have 5 classes. 
Uh, and why do we know we need another class? Because we have still some more numbers we haven't gotten to. So 17 to 20. 9 to 12, 13 to 16, and then 17 to 20. Okay, we are constructing a frequency distribution table. So all we want is the frequency in each class. We are not going to do cumulative. We're not going to do relative frequency or cumulative relative frequency. Um, so... It's just wanting the frequency. So all we want to do when we're looking for a frequency is just count how many values are in that class. So how many values are between 1 to 4? Well, we only have 1. Okay. How many values that we have that are between 5 to 8? Or go from 5 to 8. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 9 to 12 looks like we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then 14, I mean 13 through 16 would be we have 4. And then 17 through 20 we have 4. Now let's add our frequencies and get our total. And 6, 12, 16, 20. So all 20 values are accounted for. So that is all you would have to do. But let's take it a little bit further just to review. If you wanted your relative frequency, you would do 1 divided by 20, which is the total. 5 divided by 20. 6 divided by 20. 4 divided by 20 and then 4 divided by 20 and then this would be um, I believe 120.05 and this would be 0.25 and this would be 0.30 and then these would be 0.20 and 0.20 and I did that in my head, so I'm going to add these up and make sure they add up to 1, 20, 40, 70, 95. Okay, so they add up to 1, or um, if we were rounding these and not, not uh, if we really just rounded these, it could be not quite 1, but just I wanted to check that. Now, your cumulative relative frequency, all you do is add, so 0 0.05 for the first one. Then 0 0.30, then 0 0.60, 0 0.80, and then finally 1. Now, remember my problem, all I was wanting to do was do the uh, frequency distribution table. Um, but I did go ahead and review relative and cumulative relative frequency just so you can see that. Um, but let me know if you have any questions.